Hello, my fellow magpies. Welcome back to Magpie Eye Beads. I am going to be using this kit today to make another choker, um, but also the beads that my lovely bestie got me. Um, these ones? Oh, they're kind of neon colored. Um, and as promised, this is the choker from my last episode. Uh, I added another one of the little star charms to it. I think it came out really cute. Um, and I'm going to be using this as kind of the blueprint for this choker. Hopefully I'll get this one done. Uh, so, yeah. It is late, or should I say early? It's 4.30, I think, in the morning right now. And I um have a need to create at the moment i just made a couple new tiktoks i did say i was going to do a video organizing these beads but i'm not sure if i'm going to get to it before i start really using them all but we'll see i am going to do more organization videos because guys my setup is so messy right now it just, it needs to be done. So, okay, let me see. Do I have another clasp? I do not know, actually. Give me one second. Okay, so we have some clasps, but they're going to be bigger, it looks like. I haven't used any of those crimp beads yet that came with this. So, so I have the larger lobster clasp, and then I have some crimp beads, and I have not used those crimp beads yet. Maybe I should do that. I'm not going to do that this time, but I'll look into that for tomorrow. I did hear back from my aunt, and she was advocating for Etsy, so in a little bit I think I'm going to set up an Etsy account. But she did say I would need to have a little bit higher prices than what I was hoping to charge just because she says otherwise you don't make a profit because Etsy takes um, a decent amount of money so but I she did tell me that they only charge 20 cents per listing not 40 cents but either way it, that's not really even if it's half you know that's not I still don't see it as that much better um but we'll see what happens with that I suppose um so that'll be exciting to set up an Etsy. Um, I might take you guys along for that. I'm not sure um, how much behind the scenes I want to do for that. Um, I've been enjoying recording so far um, and talking to you guys, uploading with you guys. Um, so yeah, but I just don't know yet what uh, that's going to look like for my business. Um, but I will definitely let you guys know when I make my Etsy account, and here's hoping that it goes well. Okay, so for this choker, I'm gonna do eight clay beads per little section, and then one white spacer bead. So I hope this turns out cute. Let's see... Seven, eight, right? So, in addition to my grandma coming for Easter, we might have someone that I don't think I've ever met. Her name is Gloria coming. Um, she's driving all the way from Mexico over here for Easter, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, we don't usually have too much company, but we would have her, my grandma, um, my roommate Kendall, and then uh, my best friend Jesse. So that'll be a lot of people, but it'll be a lot of fun. It'll make our home much more lively, I think. And we do, of course, have the two puppies, Hope and Fawn, who I'm thinking I'm going to introduce you guys to soon, whether that's just in a TikTok or what, 
but I'm very excited to introduce them to you guys, or at least hope. We might start with hope. I'm sure you guys will really adore Fawn. She's just a miniature dachshund, but um, hope has my heart. She's my little baby. She's my standard poodle pup. Um, I always think it's funny whenever I say standard poodle, because I'm like, oh yeah, you know, just like, like, it's just standard procedure. It's just a standard poodle pup. Um, you know, it's very, very typical of a poodle. But no, that's just what they're called. Um, I didn't know too much about poodles before, but apparently they're supposed to be hypoallergenic. So they don't produce like a lot of dog dander um, because apparently they have hair, not really fur. Uh, so they don't shed a lot, um, which is really good because I have kind of sensitivity with uh, stuff like that. I just get really anxious around uh, pet dander, but I haven't had a problem with her so far. Sometimes because she runs around a lot, she gets a little stinky, but I just give her a bath and she's fine. Um... I need to look into what kind of brushes to get her because uh, they need to be groomed quite regularly and we are going to send her to a groomer but in order to keep her fur from getting matted she needs to be groomed all the time or sorry brushed all the time so well same difference but um so I'm going to go ahead and look into that um She's really aging well. Um, she's getting bigger every day, and I love her more as each day passes. She was taking a nap with me the other night, um, and she didn't have any accidents or anything in the room, but she's not quite ready to sleep in here yet, and I'm a little nervous with all the beads around. I don't want her to have an accident, like swallowing anything. I want to keep her safe so I'm not sure when she'll be moving up here but I'm very excited to at the very least introduce her to you guys in an upcoming video I might kind of show a day in our life um she might be my little bead model temporarily um with supervision of course so she doesn't get hurt doesn't swallow anything um but I think it would be really cute because this is her first Easter. And I also have a cat. I have a couple cats, but specifically I have a calico cat who's long hair named Pavlova. And she is super darling. I think you guys will love her. But her birthday is actually the same as my grandma's birthday, April 1st. They are both April Fools. And I almost forgot until Kendall reminded me because we adopted her together um and so we're gonna do a little birthday for her um so I'm gonna try to see if I can find her a little version of a cake that she can have um I don't know maybe we'll get her some wet food or something and make it look fancy something like that um but I might bring you guys along for that just to celebrate with us because as much as this is a bead channel it's also a life channel you know we're doing life together we're being there for one another and just so you can have a picture in your head of the people and creatures that I'm talking about I might do a um meet my friends and family video or and they can show you all the bracelets we've either made together or I've made for them um, I think it would be a lot of fun just to introduce you to them if they're up for it. So look out for that in the near future. Um, so I am really into these chokers right now. Um, again, though, I did say I was going to go for some longer necklaces soon. And I do want to keep my word on that just so I'm not stuck in one thing. Um, but I'm just having a lot of fun with the chokers right now. I just think that they're really cute. They're something I like to wear. They're kind of stylized. But um, 
I do want to expand my horizons and I'm hoping to get those uh, tools soon so I can make the earrings and the, um, what is it, the wire rings. I'm really excited for that, um, but I just don't have the supplies for that yet. Uh, let me show you what I've got so far. I think it's looking good so far. This would make a really cute bracelet, but um, I did make a bracelet the other day, but I ended up giving it to Jessie, so I'm going to have to remake that one. It said wind down, and I think it was really cute, but um, Jessie was wearing it, and I was like, you know what? It is too cute to not let you keep, so you just keep that. Hang on to that. Um, and I gave a bracelet to my friend Ashley, too. Um, it was a little, like, I always think of them as Valentine's. I have one over here. It was one like this. I love this color scheme. It reminds me of, like, Barbie or Valentine's or just, like, girly girl. I don't know. I just really, really love this. Or strawberries. So, I gave her one of those. Um, but, yeah. So, I've been meaning to make all my friends bracelets. I just haven't uh, gotten to it quite yet. Obviously, uh, the people that I'm around most have all gotten some, but I want to send some to my friends Renee and Nicole um, and M. Um, but I need to figure out what they like, what their styles are. So I'll go ahead and do that first. I kind of want to send one to my friend Robinson, but he is currently working in the Navy, and I don't know how he'd feel about that. Uh, I'll have to ask him, but I think it would be fun to send a little care package over to him. It's been a while since I've done anything like that. I'm, I'm not going to be bad at it for the business, but in terms of just in general, if I don't have a pressing urge to send mail, I tend to really drag my feet or forget entirely to send it. So I need to remember to do that because I don't want them to feel like I've forgotten them or I don't care about them. I just, I don't know why it's so difficult for me to um, get things sent in the mail, but I will work on that. I will add that to the list of things that Hannah Rose needs to work on as a human being. Um, ah, I just, some of my beads went everywhere. But yeah. So other than that, um, I think I'm going to do a little questionnaire or something while I do this. Um, just because I don't always know what to talk about. So I don't have one on me at the moment, so I'll just try to think of questions and answer them for you. I guess let's start with um, how did I get the nickname Hana Rose? So when I was adopted, my parents had already picked out some names. They were thinking um, Talita or Anna Rose or um, I think another one was just Anna, things like that, or just Rose. But my name was kind of very much done on a whim. They decided to name me Hannah one of the most generic names they could come up with. Um, because in the Bible, I guess Hannah means blessed by God. So all of my beads just fell. Um, so I think it just held kind of a special place in their heart, but it was very much on a whim that they named me Hannah. So knowing that, um, I always was kind of sad because everybody seems to know at least two Hannahs or more. I know like maybe six, um, not including myself. So it just gets a little taxing when everybody has 
same name. So, um, when I was talking to my dad and he was telling me, you know, we were thinking about Anna Rose, I said, you know, that's much more creative. Um, and my friend Robinson was always calling me Hana for some reason, because he didn't know how to pronounce it. Um, so I just started thinking, I want to go by Hana Rose. I love Rose as a nickname, but that's also pretty, um, generic and pretty used. I was like, what about Hana Rose? So that people who still know me as Hannah can call me Hannah and be correct, but, um, I can use a stylized version of it and go by Hana because I often got, get called Anna or Anna as well. Um, so I thought Hana is a good mix and put it together and you got Hana Rose and I really, really feel better being called that. So that is how I got my nickname Hana Rose and that is what um, Kendall and Jesse call me by and I find that really comforting and sweet because I feel like that it's a name that I've made my own. So yeah, I grew into that nickname. Uh, and I do plan to get it legally changed at some point to Hana Rose. Um, but there's like, a, I think a $500 fee to change your name and you have to go to court and you have to explain why you want it changed and all that. So it can be quite a process. So for now, it's just a nickname, but I do plan to get it uh, legally changed to that in the future. Okie dokie. What else can I tell you? Um, let me think. How about this? Um, uh, one of my absolute favorite colors is like a lavender or lilac purple. Kind of like this. Um, I don't know exactly when it happened, um, but I really adore the color purple in general. I've always loved blue, like a light blue and like a sky blue. For the longest time, that was my favorite color, like a dainty blue, but, um, it came to be that I got this purple dress by, I think it's Voodoo Vixen. Um, she does kind of retro style dresses um, online and it's just a gorgeous dress. Um, but it's kind of iconic for me because for the longest time I had this YouTube channel um, called The Briar Patch. Um, and I changed it to the Briar Patch Ghoul. And I think that that's still my handle on Instagram for just my normal Instagram. Um, so I, I would throw these Halloween parties and everything. And I guess I got this dress for one of the Halloween parties um, because I would throw big ones. I wanted to do an, uh, I wanted to be an event planner for a while. Um, and that dress just kind of became iconic for me among my friend group because it's really eye-catching and I loved it so much. It's this dark, like not dark, but like lavendery purple, I guess. Like, I don't know what I would describe it as, but it's just purple, maybe magenta. Magenta is probably a good way to describe it, a little bit darker than magenta. Um, and it's got these red sirens all over it. Um, I don't remember exactly what the dress is called. Um, but it's just gorgeous. And I think I've always associated myself with purple ever since then. Because it's just my color now, you know. It, like I don't know how else to describe it. But, um, I don't know. I just 
I love the dress. I feel like it really encapsulates me because it's purple. It's vintage style. It's so well made. It's got pockets. What girl doesn't want pockets? Um, and it's got like the horror aspect, the Halloween, but it's pretty enough that you can wear it any day. Um, I've worn it to Disney as like a Ursula, not cosplay, but Disney bound. Like I wore a Little Mermaid shirt over the top of it and you could see the skirt and it worked so well. Um, just, it's really pretty and I feel like it just encapsulates me at that point. So that is part of why purple is my favorite color. Um, and it just means a lot to me. I think it connects me and my mom as well, because purple is also her favorite color. Um, but I've been trying to, um, not that only one of us can wear purple or have purple, but I've been trying to let her kind of have more objects and items that have that color, because she prefers them. Sometimes I'll take blue or pink or whatever. Um, but that is my favorite color. I kind of want to get my hair dyed purple, but I used to have green hair, green and blue hair, and I adored that, and I would love to get it done again, so maybe someday I will have that purple and green hair again for you guys. Um, I still love Halloween, but I just don't do those parties right now. I don't feel like I know enough people to host them. Um, I was previously engaged and I would always invite my fiance's friends to things. And I feel like that made it more worthwhile and like our coworkers and everything. But um, I just, since we broke off the engagement, I just don't interact with that many people. Like I have my own friends and everything, but everybody is busy now. Everybody's doing their own things. So I just, I put a lot of effort into those parties and I just figure I'm going to wait, I'm going to chill out for a couple years and when I'm ready, I'll start hosting them again. But right now, I just really want to focus on these beads. Um, I just haven't had that same passion that I once had for Halloween, but I still love Halloween. Um, it's my favorite holiday, I think, but... I don't know. I just haven't had that uh, spark, I suppose, to keep going on the parties right now. But that just means I can put that spark towards making cute uh, jewelry for this coming fall. Um, although my friend's wedding is this fall, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. I might, I kind of want to make her I'm part of the bridal party. I kind of want to make everybody a bracelet, but I don't want to tell her that right off the bat because I don't want to put it on me and like have everyone give me requests for it because I don't know for sure that I can finish it. I already offered to make her a uh, denim painted jacket um, for Oliver and Company, which I do plan to do, but I just haven't been working on the jackets as much ever since I got into making jewelry so I don't know this is where we are so far we're almost done with this one I know it takes me a while to finish these but I think it's just because I'm recording because I tend to go faster when I'm not thinking of what I want to discuss but the thing is I like talking to you guys and I don't want to just be here alone on it. So I figure it's, it's worth the sacrifice of time to take some time out of my night to talk to you guys instead of just solo doing this. Um, but yeah, I'd like to make the whole wedding party or at least the, um, the girls, I would like to make them all some bracelets. Uh, as like a little keepsake for the wedding, but we'll see. Maybe I'll surprise her with that. Um, we'll just have to see what happens, you know? Come on. Here we go. 
So these are definitely more neon than I was hoping, but it's okay. Um, I definitely like that um, more subtle watermelony uh, look that I had earlier from my other uh, choker necklace, but this is uh, giving me more 80s vibes, which is fine. Um, I have a question, actually. Did anybody ever rainbow loom when they were a kid? Because I never did, and I keep looking at it, and I'm like, I wonder if I would enjoy that, um, if I should add that to my business, um, develop, like, a skill to do that. Um, I know it's not gonna be crazy or anything, but I just thought, eh, that could be a fun little side hobby, um, to add some more stuff to the business, or maybe I could... Uh, give them out when I do pop-up shops or something, you know? Um, who knows? <sighs> Sorry, I'm trying to get these ones beaded on. I am almost done with this bracelet, or not bracelet, uh, necklace. So, I am just going to focus on this for one second. Um... I did upload those TikToks. I might make some more after this, but I'm not certain. I just want to make sure I have a steady stream of content coming out for you guys. I know not everybody is watching right now, but I actually gained um, four new subscribers today. One of them was my lovely little brother, Brian. I'm super excited for that. Um, he's part of my birth family, and I just found them recently. But it's going to take some time for me to um, be able to go meet them because they lived a little bit away from me. But um, I got three followers and I'm not sure who they are. Um, I just know Brian did and he was my fourth one today. And I'm so excited that I'm starting to grow on my little channel. But I want to, you know, keep making content that you guys enjoy. So... That's why I try to do both a regular video and then some TikToks just to spice things up a little bit. Um, so I might do that. I'm not sure. One second. I need those um, jump rings. There it is. Okay, so I am all done with this. I just need to get that out. And I'm also going to show you guys the chokers that I've made so far. I don't know if I showed them in previous videos, but I have some extra time tonight uh, on my camera roll. And I got this done faster than I thought I would, because usually when I'm talking, I just take way too much time. Um, I still think 30 minutes might be too long for this choker, but um, again, I was talking to you guys and I'm willing to make that a uh, really tiny sacrifice to just spend some time with you. Um, that reminds me, I said it before and I want to say it again. If nobody has told you today, I am proud of you and I am happy to be here with you. This is a little safe zone for us. This is where we can just come and chill and be little magpie eye people together. Um, and remember to keep looking out for little shiny things, you know? Get stuff every once in a while that makes you happy just for the sake of it. You don't always need it, but little things can make life better. So, yeah. Okay, let me just cut this real quick. And I want to fix the... Um, the clasp. Where is my tool? Here it is. Oh, it's actually pretty. Oh no, I see. Jump rings, jump rings. There we go. And I do want to add a charm to it. Let me look at my star charms. Where did they go? Where did you go, star charms? Ah, shoot. What did I do with them? I have one of those TikToks stuck in my head right now that I was filming. 
It's like do 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 Hey, I found my star charms. Woohoo! Lucky me. Okay, I only have pink, yellow, and blue left. Uh -huh. I guess pink is the one that would make the most sense for this. It's not the same kind of pink, but that's okay. I gotta go back to Hobby Lobby and get more of these. I went there today, but I didn't have money to get new stuff, so. But I don't really mind that, because it is fun to just kind of window shop sometimes. Okay, here we go. I need to open this jump ring. All right, here we go. This is why I need to get the right tools, because I can't do this. Alright, there we go. Do, do, do. Oh, I did it! I did it! Okay. And let me just clasp it. Ta-da! Ta-da! It is done! She is cute! Look at that. Look at that best friend necklaces. <laughs> so cute! So summertime vibes. So preppy. So aesthetic. So woke. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to use those words that people use nowadays. They got the riz. <laughs> no, I'm terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I do like these together. I think they are cute. Um, I could see these being little BFF necklaces. I should, I should do one that's like blue and like electric blue and bright yellow or something. Um, I should make a whole 80s aesthetic. I should go look at the Disney Channel nights and just make bracelet sets and necklace sets for all of them because I could totally see this being a thing. Um, but anyway, so those are these two. Um, let me show you the other ones I've made recently. This is one I made with like quartz um, and pearls and little uh, silver flowers that I got from Michaels. Um, and then the, the roses, the little rose uh, pearl-esque glass beads or ceramic beads that I got also from Michaels. So this is one I was wearing earlier in my other video. Um, and then let me clasp up this one so I can show you this one. It's the starry summertime girl one with the purple star charm. Or am I colorblind? <laughs> um, the blue star charm. I'm just, I'm tired, guys. It's like 5 a.m. Um, again, I just wanted to spend some time with you. I love this. This is like my own little video diary, and we can be besties hug um where are my other ones give me one second let me see so this one is not a choker it's just my um little strawberry pendant necklace that i made for myself because i love butterflies and strawberries and the strawberry actually is scented believe it or not <clears throat> and then i made two of these i made one with the um or two with the walmart glass beads that kendall got me that i love so much and i can't wait to go get more of 
And then I made this one and I was experimenting with um, the dollar store, dollar tree findings. So I made a little charm, even though I didn't have the right tools, I made a little charm for this one. Um, so that's how you can tell them apart is they have that bit. And then the last one I made, and it was the first one, is this purple, pink, and kind of lavender, uh, and the stars choker charm thing. And this one has a purple star charm, and I really love it. It goes with my bracelets. I don't know where those bracelets are right now, but I made them on video with you guys twice, I think. Um... But yeah, so I've really been into making these little chokers and I'm really excited about it, but I do need to get back into bracelets and just um, longer necklaces, but I have quite a nice little stockpile going on right now. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I think somewhere there's a pink one of these with the seed beads, but I don't know. I hope I do because eight is my lucky number. Um, but yeah. So what do you guys think? Do we like these? Should I make more? Should I make a uh, best friend or sister sets or things like that? Um, let me know. And th again, thank you so much for spending time with me tonight. I really enjoy this. This helps elevate my mood. I get to connect with you guys and you get to watch me on my journey. So thank you. I am proud of you. I am happy to be spending this time with you. This is our safe space. We make a little nest. We are magpies. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you later. If your heart so desires, please remember to like follow, share, subscribe, comment down below. Um, I guess the question for today is what is your favorite color and why? Or what is your favorite nickname you have and why? How did you get it? Let me know. Let's discuss. Um, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night, everyone.